Welcome fellow folders to the next Origami PO Box unboxing video. We have a parcel right here and I cannot wait to open it. It's all the way from India. That is insane. It has come such a long distance to finally be in this position. Also I have uh, two, cam uh, two cameras running, the main one and Another, another one so we can have multiple angles and um, it's a neater way to show things and it's just going to be cooler in general so first of all we have a parcel I'm going to assume it's not a model of some sort it's going to be probably paper and also I have covered the sender's address and um, I'll make sure that when I open it up I'll take it out and discard or not discard, uh, take away the envelope from um, the frame of the shot in case it can be seen from the other side when I open it up because it'll be a single layer. Um, so that is the plan. Just to make sure that I don't reveal the address because that's that would be a fail on my behalf. I need to respect the, their privacy so I need to make sure I do that. And of course when I edit the video I will double check uh, zoom in on the video to make sure if I do then I will blur parts of the video. So I am excited. Um, what, first of all, um, from looking at it from this position, there seems to be some sort of reddish, um, maybe pinkish colour from looking at it from this angle. I can just make out because I can see that it's completely white here and then there's a, a, a colour separation here. And it's quite neat how they all they do all this with all these stamps. I mean, it makes no sense to me. I mean, it's from India. Can you see that? Hopefully, you can make that out. But it's just so cool. All the way from India. And of course, my PO Box address Fearless Flourish, PO Box 8772, Bell Sill, ML49AQ, Scotland. United Kingdom so make sure to get yours sent to me if you want a special unboxing video and to return it over we have the open so I'm only assuming to open it from this angle which I will do that I have scissors by my side and we have what I can look uh, to see some sort of lines so maybe a letter as well um, so yeah let us just uh, dive right into this unboxing. I'm curious to see what it is. So plan is to make a cut from here to there and it makes sense and I've never seen staples being used in parcels before that is a first for me I've never ever seen that um, being done either by myself or received something from someone so you are the first person to send me a parcel of staples that is amazing so let's cut this open and the angles will randomly change throughout the video make sure i'm not cutting anything no we're fine here i wasn't sure if i'd be cutting the letter I'll need to cut through the tape that I've added. There we go, I think we're all the way through. Wait, maybe I need to cut. No, it's open, it opens finally, like that's fine. I thought I had to cut through the other layer. Again, that would have worked. Okay, so let me just. Oh, wait, it's stuck through. Oh, it's the staples. Um, I'll just gently pull them apart. I was trying to think how would I cut through the staples. So I just cut a tiny glimpse of something darker on the inside. So I think there is a model of some sort. So I'm going to do it from this angle, show you that camera view. To see what it's like. Now, let's just put my hand in. I can't see. Um, you can see from the camera. I can't see what it is yet. So I'm going to pull it out. Oh, we have something here. What do we have here? A model. 
Wow, right, that is Caddy Chan's uh, Fire the Dragon. I can't remember the name of the model. So we do have a model. I was not expecting a model because when I was feeling the parcel, I didn't feel, I couldn't feel any bumps, etc. So we have a model. Thank you so much. I was not expecting this. I really was not expecting this. And I will of course take pictures of this model in my light box to show at the end of the video. But we're just going to take a moment to appreciate the folders fold. Um, I made this model quite some time ago. I think I still have it upstairs. But it's amazing to see another one. You've done a great job as well. The pleats in the neck are really nice. And the same with the tail as well. I just like to look at the fold to see how they have done it. And it even stands. There we go. So it'll be much easier to take pictures. Let's pop that right there. And let's tip out. I'm going to double check to make sure there's nothing else inside. Nope. So we rid of the parcel. Let's put that off camera. And of course I will keep the parcel as well. Um, it's a great memorial um, piece to have for my collection. So let's put the note to one side. I always like to read those last. It looks like we have some sort of pre-creased sheet. I will get to that in a second. And what do we have here? Uh, a sheet of paper as well. So thank you very much. Hmm, what paper is this? Is this like copy paper? But again, super nice and thank you very much for sending me this. It is an honour to have this. This is just so cool. So let's pop that under there. And we have a pre creased sheet, so let's see what we have here. Oh, it's the Phoenix. So Kenya's Phoenix, he has pre creased, or she, I'm not who, uh, sure who has sent this yet. So we have a pre creased Phoenix 3.5 sheet. You shouldn't have done this. <laughs> okay. So, I'm definitely going to need to try and make a phoenix from this. That is the plan. Um, definitely. But thank you very much again for sending this. I know it's a lot of work to do this and I appreciate it so much. And it's on a small sheet as well, which is impressive. So again, thank you very much. Let's pop that under there, and the final part, oops, let's move this up, move that up a little bit. If I can get to stand again, there we go. So let me quickly check this off camera in case there's any information, like emails, etc. No, there is not. Oh wait, oh there is on the back. So we have, um, that, you know, it's quite tricky for me to read this. Um, so let me try and read it. Uh, Vivian, no, Patil, the 12th of the 1st. Dear Grant, hey, uh, cool origamist, how are you? I am, I'm very, I'm very good, thank you. Um, hope you are fine these days. You are sending some funny posts on YouTube and are and very serious about doing origami. My name is oh, I can't pronounce the name. Um, v I. Oh, I'm so sorry. I cannot pronounce the name. I'm not sure. Um what it is but uh, what 
and I love origami as much as I just 13 years and I am doing origamis by Satoshi Kimiya, Shukikato, Kadechan, Hideo Takashi, etc. Even um, also, I don't know what um, I'm not sure what that says. I mean, pe people's handwriting is so neat that I can't read it. Also, don't know what. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm not sure what that says. Me to keep folding origami. Maybe drives, what drives? Also don't know what drives me to keep folding origami. I've sent you a creased pattern of origami phoenix by Satoshi Kimiya, some papers and fiery dragon by Kade-chan. Okay, I will stop here. This is my fourth thing that I am sending you. Also, take care. Um, by PTO. So let's turn over. And happy new year. So again, thank you very much. I hope you had a great new year as well. Yours, student? No. Okay. Um, what is that? Vivian? No. Anyway. Um, I will email you, because with the email on the back, I will ask um, for your name as well, just to make sure, and of course include that in the video, because I apologise for not being able to pronounce um, your name or read it. Um, it's what happens when I get good handwriting, it's not easy for me to read, but anyway, thank you very much, you are super kind and very generous to have sent me these four items and I cannot thank you enough and I really appreciate you taking the time to make this for me and put it all together to send it to me and I really much appreciate um, you doing this so thank you so much for everything. Now let's take some pictures of the dragon. Okay, so I just noticed that on the email he has wrote his name much better. So, Varun Patio. So, Varun, again, thank you so much. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't pronounce your name. Maybe that was probably just the way it was wrote. Um, it's not used to my eyesight to reading. So, thank you very much, Varun. I really appreciate it again and I will not forget your name. Varun, thank you so much.